Hey guys, it's Monica. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, clink, well, clink, click uh, the link to subscribe to my channel. Give it a like, give it a comment. Yeah, support me at Emily's97. <laughs> You were oh, doing wow. so good until you tried to take over my channel. That was terrible. Hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. So for the video today, I'm going to be making a DIY hot cocoa charcuterie board. And it's coming at you in the beginning of December. So you can watch this video and then do your own charcuterie board for your friends, for your family, for whatever you want. It's going to be great. Okay, I'm going to show you. Bye. So this is everything I have. You have to start with step one. I'll probably put words. Step one, have a board. This one I got from Amazon, but they're everywhere. They're not trendy. People love them. So you need your board. And then besides all the snacks and stuff, so this is specifically a hot cocoa one. Um, I have a bunch. Yes. So I have all of my cups. I bought a bunch of ones because I didn't know how I was going to arrange it. You need little little um, bowls and stuff to give it dimension and to separate like small items that you might have. So I have those. I have this one too. I got these all from the dollar store. Honestly, just buy everything from the dollar store. Then I have my decor that I'm going to use to make it look cuter. Um, Michael's, 50% off, 50% off, dollar store. And then I have absolutely everything else. So I have my hot chocolate mix. Um, I have a lot of stuff. So, yes, I was picking things that would obviously taste good in hot chocolate and go with it, but was also, like, mad cute. And I'll give you a cute little hot chocolate. So, sprinkles. Guys, I got both of these from Michael's, half off. Winter Wonderland sprinkles, and then Christmas sprinkles. I'm obsessed with themed holiday sprinkles. Okay. Then we have our large candy canes, our mini candy canes, variety, large marshmallows. I forgot the mini ones at home. That's fine. Um, I got these pirouettes. Honestly, I ate half of the container last night. That's fine. It's fine. Um, Hershey Kisses candy cane and cherry ones because cherry hot chocolate why not right right you obviously need your whipped cream so I got Pocky because yeah I thought it was gonna be like creative it has cute texture they're good flavors both flavors go with the hot chocolate so I was like you know what that might work okay cinnamon sticks you know dimension Okay, this I'm really excited for. I need to like readjust my hands, BRB. So guys, these are little chocolate pieces. I washed my hands, so it's okay. So that's a little penguin guy. That's a little gingerbread guy. So I found these little molds. This one, Michael's half off. This one, dollar store, and I bought melting chocolate because it's easier to melt. And I made a bunch of them, white chocolate, milk chocolate. And then this is like, you can just put it on top of your hot chocolate. You guys will see in the end. I'm really excited about that. So, that is everything. You guys don't have to get as extra as me. Because I do a lot, 99% of the time. But, as long as you have options to your charcuterie board, it's going to look cute. And it's going to, you know, pop on texture, pop on how it looks. And that, I feel like, is what makes a good charcuterie board. Okay guys, charcuterie board done. These are the really cute mugs that everyone brought. Can you see? I actually made that Lee Renee Studios. Shout out me. Monica's Grinch mug. Okay, so it was pretty easy to make. I think it came out really cute and we have a Christmas movie night and we're going to enjoy it and I'll show you a little bit of the movie night but that's it so 
hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this inspired you to make a hot cocoa charcuterie board. And if it did, tag me and let me know. Bye, Merry Christmas.